imagined. That spire was indeed a teleporter linked to a cloaked Covenant supercarrier, a grave threat. Thankfully, help is imminent. 60% of the UNSC fleet is en route to reach from existing deployments. The first battle group should arrive within 48 <sighs> hours. 48 hours? That's imminent? Uh oh. Who's your money on this time? Her. You always pick her. Hmm. She's always had him dialed in. That thing's crushing us and we're waiting for backup. They'll be backing up a graveyard. All our nukes are either out system or went down with the ships that carried them. You're preaching to the converted. How converted? I know that look, Kat. You can say no. No. You don't even want to hear it? <laughs> Fine, I'll hear it. Remember that accident a couple years back? Colony ship en route to Cygnus, 700 dead. Vaguely a slip space drive malfunction, right? Actually, it worked fine. The drive was mounted improperly after a service haulout. When it fired, it teleported half the ship to oblivion. And this is relevant. How? A certain Covenant supercarrier could, with some assistance, suffer the same unfortunate accident. Even for you, Cat, that's... Inspired? Not the word I would use. What's going on? Go ahead. Explain. May I? Don't cut yourself. Objective? Destroy Covenant Carrier in geosynchronous orbit above us. This sanctions, sir. What do you think? Oh. Method? A slip space drive in lieu of the nukes we don't have. Delivery system? Us. Solvable? Getting us up there. That and getting our hands on a slip space drive. Thank you for sharing. So, all we need is orbit-capable transport and the single most expensive piece of equipment made by man. As a soldier in the field, I couldn't possibly have access to those kinds of resources. That said, a good place to look might be, I don't know, the nearest non-existent launch site and the non-existent Sabre program dismissed by three administrations as preposterous rumor, and in which our newest member was certainly never a pilot. You're scary. You know that. All we need is a green light from Holland. Good luck with that. You're the one asking him. Well, there's no way in hell he's going to go for this. Facility. Any closer is too hot to land. Could be that, Commander. Move up the beach, Noble. Guys, Keith here, and sorry about the windows marker. Um, that guy's safe for it. it's all I can do about it. So, um, for now, please try and deal with it. Like, now you guys can't about it, but it just is right here. Thank you that I had to, that I had to show this on my videos, because, you know, the activate windows is not a pretty warm mark to look at. Yeah, but anyways, welcome to the fifth part, and yeah, um, if you guys say, comment down below. Yeah, this is, like I said many times, a good game. This is probably my least favorite mission though so far, because it just strikes on and on with this one. Like, seriously, it, it freaking never ends at some parts. But yeah. So, I think this mission could have been like, three missions in one, to be honest. Like, it's that long. But anyways, so we're just going and starting to take out the Covenant on the beaches. Cause, um, they're trying to attack us. And so yeah, we're just going and, um, going out the beaches of the Covenant. Unfortunately, we're losing losing men and stuff in there yeah don't ask me what's going on because i don't even know right now like we're at some kind of research launch facility there's a bunch of covenant inside of it and the marines are trying to defend it i don't even know but other than that i don't know what's going on there's so much random stuff going on at one time it makes no sense but yeah 
so um yeah don't ask me what the war behind this mission is because i know it's we're taking on the super carrier now that killed one of our biggest reps for no reason and yeah so that's pretty chill i guess and yeah oh uh, so living rain that's good i prefer to see rain start alive than dead and yeah, we're currently just storming the uh, facility Trying to help our men that are fighting here Yeah And yeah, so we're currently just um As I made to the facility That dude just literally killed a marine so he, just, so he is now dead And yeah, it sucks that all these marines died But don't worry Cause no matter what, they hurt marines, we're going to kill them instead. Yeah, I did a um, salute to that man, that poor dude. May he rest in peace. But yeah, so we're just going, I guess I was throwing the facility. We lost like crap on men. But I must say, props to this dude, he literally just took out elite fast, which is something not every person can do. So, congrats mate. And then yeah, we're going into the um, ship. And yeah. And I'm back, so yeah, we're currently just defending this um shipyard, trying to defend our ships. And yeah, so um yeah, I actually don't know what the um what is so good about this shipyard of all of them, but it's probably important. At least it's defending our ships and also repairing them. But yeah. So it's pretty taking our shipyard and stuff. And yeah, so yeah, this is I mean by this mission is drags on and on. Like this could have been an entire separate mission for being honest, but no. Or at least they like, not put the final part where they have to infiltrate the Covenant supercarrier in this exact mission. Make it a separate mission, my dudes. There's plenty of no, time and space here. Obviously. So yeah, just it, this mission's just so long. But it does have nice um sounds and um a soundtrack of uh, being so quiet and stuff. Here we go, six. Show them what you can do. And yeah, so now we're defending Inc Anchor Nine from um the Covenant. They're sending in just basic banshees. Which are easy to take out. As I miss a shot. But yeah.
Yeah, so far this um mission is pretty fun. Like I like the flying mechanics and stuff. It's a lot better than some other flying mechanics like GTA is, I must say. But yeah, so we're just taking out a lot of their soldiers, de defeating um super carriers, yada yada. So yeah, I think this game is pretty fun. And yeah, so um here's a few more banshees where we're destroying and stuff, which is fun. I love killing banshees for some reason. But yeah. Um But yeah, so we're kinda just killing banshees, biting off the covenant from Anchor 9, because it's important somehow. But yeah, should I like, recapping anything? I just don't know just to really talk about this video. Yeah. Anchor Niner, like, I also don't know. Impulse drive signatures detected. Fighter class. Heads up, Sabres. And yeah, there's these things, which are... Sabre okay. Use your guns to take down their shields, then hit them with so, yeah, these things are okay to destroy. That dude just crashed right into me. Like a mad lad. And yeah, so this is um, if say so this is pretty chill, I guess. We destroyed all these covenant already, but yeah, I don't know. This mission is just kind of boring. It gets really boring around the end part. It just goes on and on. Like I say, for bad seriously, they could probably do something different. And yeah, so we're kinda of destroying the spires, whatever they're called. Not spires. What are they called? I don't remember. Hey guys, I'm back. Yeah, sorry. I had to take I had to leave for a little bit so I can see forget what we we're talking about. But yeah. So we're currently on this we're currently in a space station. And yeah, I'm just gonna kill a few instant people for some reason. Guys how to shoot into it. And yeah, here they all are. But yeah, like I feel like, like after this section, it could just end the mission here, honestly. Maybe a good uh, time and stuff, but instead of going making it take an extra half a long. But yeah. So, I don't know. This mission is just a really big deal, just drag. If I'm being honest, like, it takes forever to get past it, and it's not really fun. After a little while. Yeah, that's my feelings on this mission. Not a fan. Betty not a fan. But yeah. So we're currently just about to take out this I don't know how to pronounce that, but yeah, we took that out. And we're basically just flying around now. Trying just to be a few covenant. But yeah. Um yeah, so this point's gonna be a little bit longer than normal. It's just it's just a super super long mission. So it took a long time. So it's gonna be a longer video than normal. Sorry about that boys. But yeah. So now we're just going and I'm about to take out this out on trance still, but yeah, it's so rough. So rough. Seraph, I don't know. Seraph? Something like that. So yeah, I must say Reach is honestly a really cool player to look at from the sky. Too bad it's gonna get destroyed, but it's still pretty nice. Yeah, if I'm being honest, like I think they did a really good idea and good job designing the planet. It looks honestly believable like the actual planet. Good look. And yay, here they are the Mad Guys, the Phantoms. But she is destroying them now. But yeah, so these phantoms are just coming in, we're just blowing them halfway back to the atmosphere, and we're winning somehow. But yeah, Sabres are pretty chill looking um, ship, I must say, I definitely like the way they look. And it's quite going to destroy them, or not just like destroying the whatever it's called, 
Right, guys, we're saber sabers. I'm pretty sure the ship are flying. The guy was calling actually. Searching. I'm pretty sure sabers though. But yeah, what's your guys' favorite ship? Mine is the Pelican. Pelicans are freaking cool looking. Right behind that is the Hornets. Because I absolutely love the Halo 3 Hornets. They're so cool. Not as close as the Pelicans, but still freaking awesome. So yeah, that's. I personally think those are some, those two, in my opinion, the best plane ships in um, all of Halo. UNSC ships, all targets neutralized. Bravo 029er, you are clear to dock. Activating marker. And yeah, we're currently stalking onto it. Which is chill. So yeah, dock with Anchor 9. Also, I feel like they had a bunch of cutscenes just to drag the mission out even more, it feels like. Like, I swear that's what they did or something. Because, like, the cutscenes just make the thing ten times longer. I'm out here, Six. Warning. M-Spec re-entry pack disengaged. I need your override. Warning. M-Spec re-entry Cockpit depressurization complete. Canopy release lever armed. Repeat. Pull up surface grid 19 by 22. Gladly. Only sword base, sector 18G. Verbal enhance. Noble 5, your pulse is elevated. There is nothing you can do for Dr. Woolsey and the others inside sword base. The mathematics are determinate. Noble 5? I know. Bravo, 29 is cleared to re-engage thrusters. Noble 6, this is Holland. Go ahead, Colonel. We've flagged a Corvette-class vessel on a predicted docking track with our target. Get our makeshift bomb on that Corvette, and we have our delivery system. Noble 5 will escort the bomb. I need your Sabre team to clear the way for boarding. Understood, Colonel. As she's already donated her slip space drive to the cause, Savannah will be joining you to provide local fire support. UNSC Savannah, our wings may be clipped, but we've got your back. I've stuck my neck out for Noble on this one, Lieutenant. We'll get it done, Colonel. Six out. Target Corvette sighted within visual range of map beacon RA-15. We have visual. Target confirmed. And yay, yeah, more of the same mission. Because we can't just end it there. But yeah. So we're currently just fighting even more of these guys. Hey, we're trying to calm today. But yeah, seriously though, they could have, they should have just ended it here. See if we can slow her down. Good thinking, Savannah. That'll make boarding her a whole lot easier. Noble Six, I'm marking targets. Take out the so now we're taking out the engines, which are honestly kind of hard to hit, if I'm being completely honest. They put them in a location that makes them right there quite to shoot. But yeah. I don't know why I didn't just switch to missiles there, but I did in the end. So that's one of the three down. Or one of the four, I mean. And yeah, just taking out these guys still. But yeah, I could not get that thing no matter how much I tried. Like that, and James in a really good spot for some reason. But it's like, their cards actually hit it. Like, did I see this? Like, I seriously thought I was aiming inside of it, but I just refused to die. And now I'm dead. But yeah. So yeah. This engine for a fourth is difficult to hit. And a really annoying location. Yay. Fun. But yeah, so. 
um if you guys are excited for um are you guys excited for basically summer vacation coming up soon because i know i am and for all of you guys not in school just for summer in general because yeah because um the summer season is coming up really soon uh, i'm personally looking forward to it uh, they couldn't just end the where are the reinforcements coming from? I thought the target was jammed. Must be squadrons coming back from patrol like go Yeah, they should just end it here. There's so much more that we should have needed to do. Before they bug out and warn that super carrier what we're up to. Cause you know I have to fight even more of these guys for no reason. They say just let us go. Please. But I guess these guys are just going down fast. Killed that. And I was destroying these guys. Which won't take too terribly long. Which is pretty good. Doc, analyze all available data on that core <laughs> Good, we just defeated their pl um patrols. Structural weakness surrounding a platform on top of the vessel. And now it gets to infiltrate it, which I took 10 years. Wait, what did I just get hit by? There's nothing there, I just got hit by something. Oh, probably a flak. Anti-air guns, I'm guessing? But yeah, I just realized I got hit by that, and it's, um, playback. Play back. So it's kinda like, wait, I just got hit by something? I didn't even notice. But yeah. So now we're just going down. And yeah, you have to admit, the Marines look really cool in this. Like, right now they look awesome. The Savannah's countermeasures won't work forever. Find a way inside and permanently disable that cruiser's communications. As soon as we're sure the Corvette can't squawk, we'll initiate uppercut phase two. Wait, had all those, um, Covenant die due to the, um, attack spurring? Because that's a lot of dead Covenants. But yeah, so we just took them out. And yeah, we're currently just pushing through the ship now, killing people. Not people, aliens, but you know what I mean. And yeah, I actually didn't know what to do again because I didn't see any covenant. So I'm like, wait, what? And I saw him up there. Yeah. And if there's one thing I learned, it's easier to not use the scope. Honest thing, the scope's really bad. So it's like, like I said, 10 times easier to not use a scope at all than use a scope and waste all your ammo. Which to me is kind of sad that they messed up the scope this bad on the um, assault rifle. And yeah, we just took out that dude too. Calling to Savannah. Enemy comm relay is now offline. So yeah, we're just pushing through the um, small ship like I said. Alright Noble. Let's get that slip space bomb on board. But yeah. Six, head for the hangar. There's a pretty easy mission now. Oh, I wish it wasn't the same mission. I wish this was just a different mission or something. That way we had to go that way Five. they would just you know, shorten the length of the mission. On approach. And yeah. So there's the Covenant Boyos. And yeah, we're just currently fighting like crazy to get control of the ship. And yeah, these grunts are here. They actually look really cool in this. Like, I have to admit, their um, masks look a lot cooler than normal, which I like. And yeah, we're just um, taking out these grunts, like I said. Not even any survivors at the moment. And now here's the elite, who just go down pretty fast. Hit him in the head. Boom, and he's dead, I'm guessing. And yeah, there's these grunts here that we're taking out too. Anyways, but yeah. So yeah, this mission is kind of getting boring now. It's just the same one. It's just non-stop the same thing over and over again, dragging out over and over again. It's not fun <laughs> after a little while. So yeah, that's why I think about this one. Too long for its own good. Six, go for those shield controls. I need in. And yeah, now we're starting letting our um the soldiers in, trying to 
get George on the win. And then we're going to go and um try and activate the bomb and destroy the carrier. Lieutenant, I'll be all by my lonesome back here. Make it quick, would you? Okay, so now we're just going and currently taking over the ship, forcing it to go into manual overdrive to get into a, um, what's it called? Or to use as a trap. And yeah, now we're taking out some grunts. Slash elites who are now all dead. And yeah, um, this is going bad. This is going pretty fast now, which is good. And yeah, that ship's um completely destroyed. Yay, it's gone. Rip Savannah. But yeah. Savannah actual. Can you hear me? They're dead. Previous gone, six. Nothing we could do. And yeah, now we're just taking out these guys. Noble, you're in deep with no cover. Here's the um moving and get the hell out of there. And yeah, here's the uh what's it called? Controls. So we're just controlling the ship now and stuff. Um and yeah. It's going pretty quickly. And yeah, leads and grunts to you the normal um units on this um on this mission because you know they can't just play brutes in they the brutes aren't actually that cool in my opinion yay pass my foot to the head button wait all right no they're not brutes they're fakes But yeah, I must say though, I still think that the elites are the coolest enemy slash ally fraction because they went from en enemies to allies. Like I must say, they're one of my, they're by far the best fraction or in the UNSCs. Cause this match, so these are pretty chill. Brutes are boring. Runs are pretty cute, but it's not as cool as um. It's not as cool as well done, EVs. And Marine Third is the best. And yeah, now we're taking out more and more elites now. And there's a grunt who thought to get. I just wrecked that too. It does unnecessary me. That was just messed up. Like, that is a lot to his face at one time. But yeah. I definitely like this about this game where you can just go like for grunts and stuff. If you have a assault rifle, you just can wreck them. Like no joke. Like you feel so overpowered in this game. I love it. I feel like how a hill game should play. Like just overpowered, you're able to just destroy everything. Yada yada. And here's the door. So we're entering the um hangar again where George is and yeah. So we're just had to defend the bomb. I actually don't see any more um enemies. Defend the stiff space bomb. Okay. Best gun in the game. Boom. And we just lost one of our boys. That's sad. But yeah. Wrecked him, wrecked him. Wrecked him, wrecked him. Wrecked him. 
Yeah, I don't see any more enemies again. Oh, here's some grunts. Yeah, they're right you kill it's just headshots. The second you hit a headshot, you're dead. And yeah, now it's just the lead that's here. And he's dead. Yeah, he's really dead. And yeah. I don't know where I'm going, I should just I should be going behind me where the actual enemies are. But yeah, so I think Armies actually just wiped two dudes off now. Dudes out, I mean Oh we lost our Marine somehow. That's sad. And game work runs. So yeah. Now there's something grunts and el more elites. Very nice. But yeah, I don't know. So these games game seem kind of underpowered compared to the uh, previous games. Well, it just makes sense since it is ordered here. So it's just very underpowered compared to some other ones. And here's the suicide grunts. Who we just killed. And yeah, we have basically su successfully defended the pelican. Like, there's basically no more left. Except for a few more um, elites. Who we're taking out. And... Dead. Yeah, these are the ultra ultras, I'm pretty sure. Not to mention. And yeah, so we killed him. So yeah, we should close off the mission soon. I'm pretty sure we're getting very close. And yeah, grenade launcher, dude. Yay. And we're about to kill him. And yeah. So he's killed Grenade Launcher, dude. That's fun. Unfortunately, I lost Savannah. So yeah. And I don't say more um, Covenant forces. And goodbye, people. This is closing on this vessel's refueling track with the Covenant supercarrier. 76 seconds to end, Damn it. So, it's gonna be like that. Well, I've got good news and bad news. This bird took some fire and I thrust a gimbal is toast, which means the only way off this slag heap is gravity. And the good news? That was the good news. At current velocity, 53 seconds to end, Yeah, point. yeah, yeah. Bad news is, time is fried. I'm gonna have to fire it manually. That's a one-way trip. We will make it sooner or later. Better get going, Six. They're gonna need you down there. Listen, Reach has been good to me. Time has come to return the favor. Don't deny me this. Tell him to make it count. Slip space rupture detected. Yeah, we're picking up anomalies too. Are you reading this? 
Yes, yes, yes.